Yeah, it's a pretty small little village. But it's only like half an hour from London, so it's so good, it's so convenient. But uh, it's one of those little hidden gems. There's a guy peddling manual. You know, he thought he, he thought he was quick. He thought he was speeding along. And I just cruised by, not even breaking a sweat, just like, and he just saw me next to it. He was like, how's he just done that? It was like miles ahead. Ha <laughs> ha. He had no idea what was coming. With ease, mate, that's how I did it, with ease. <laughs> I mean, Ali G would be proud of us, I reckon. West side definitely won. Yeah, this is our studio. We spend a lot of time in here. We basically live in here. Um, writing, recording, producing. The band's called The New Twenties. We spend a lot of time just crashing here. We do like a late night session. It ends up at like four or five in the morning. The sun's coming up and we're like, okay, we're just gonna do our teeth and fall asleep. <laughs> so we pull the beds out and just crash wake up and do the same thing again. But it has paid off, like we've been played on Radio X, BBC Six, um, like out in LA, Triple J in Australia and stuff. So when you get those small wins, it like fuels you to do it another night. <laughs> Carry on, let's go again. There was a part like growing up where, you know, we went and did like separate projects, but then from the age of like 16, we've kind of always been in the same band, doing different. It's always easier to have at least half a band, you know what I mean? <laughs> Well, this colour definitely ties in with the band. It just looks cool. It looks like a young, like up and coming, like fashionable, cool bike. Fold away bikes traditionally, like the Brompton kind of vibe, was like quite old manny and it wasn't. I didn't associate it with the youngsters and like the new generation coming up, whereas this I do. Coming up on the tour, we're about to go past uh, Ali G's grandma's house or mum's house. I'm surprised there's not a statue. Like, surely we should kind of celebrate him a little bit around here. So English, isn't it? I love it. And here we have a wild seagull. David Attenborough reporting for BBC. It's amazing cycling around here, just following the river, going all the way. Like you can go so far, you can go all the way to Windsor, like further. It's um, it's amazing. You can go as far as the battery will take you, <laughs> and then your legs have to take over. To be honest, the bike has been the, the go-to recently because you can't run out like that. You can run out. You know what I mean? It's like you can go so far and then you realize you can't get home or you haven't charged it enough to get to get back. Um, I cycle to the tennis courts quite a lot. I play tennis like almost every day. Um, and this has been a great way to get there and back. I sometimes cycle to Weybridge because I work with a friend of mine and we just like sit on the laptops and do design work. And um, there's a big hill actually called Woburn Hill and it's quite an incline, but it's like flowing over that and all the way down it. So fun going down the other side. <laughs> I'm pretty jealous right now, to be honest, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the scooter is fun. Um, and it's kind of nice being able to like switch it up, but I think the bike is faster. It's more like, yeah, like Harry said, it doesn't run out of battery. It's just more usable. Whenever I used to go to the tennis court, I was always driving and I was like, well, it's not that far. Like, and it'd be better if I could cycle and get more actual exercise in on the way. Um, but then afterwards, obviously, you're quite tired from just playing. So this is quite good. You can just put the engine on and it kicks in, comes back. So I've been using it a lot to just ride up to the tennis court, like literally every day. So it's perfect for that. Should we do it? Five. Woo. Oh yeah, look at that fly. It feels so good. Woo. Going too fast, got a watery eye. <laughs>